Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you. PM Modi bats for uniform civil court in India. Heavy rainfall wrecks havoc in parts of Pakistan and India. And UN reveals over 1,000 Afghan civilians killed in violence since 2021. And now for all the details, batting for the uniform civil code in India, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday said there cannot be two laws in the country when the Indian constitution talks about equality for all. Addressing workers of ruling BJP in Bhopal, the Prime Minister said people are being instigated over the UCC for political gains by the opposition parties. Referring to Triple Talaq issue, he said, if the way of divorce was a necessary tenet of Islam, then why nations with dominant Muslim population does not have it? He added those who support Triple Talaq want the license to discriminate against Muslim women. PM Modi's BJP has been calling on for a unified personal law in India to govern matters such as marriage, divorce, adoption and inheritance. The Saffron Party has kept UCC implementation as a promise in their manifesto and maintains only a secular set of laws can ensure equality in the country. Today we are seeing that the uniform civil court ke naam par ऐसे लोगों को भड़काने का काम हो रहा है आप मुझे बताइए एक घर में परिवार के एक सदस्य के लिए एक कानून हो परिवार के दूसरे सदस्य के लिए दूसरा कानून हो तो क्या वो घर चल पाएगा क्या कभी भी चल पाएगा क्या फिर ऐसी दोहरी व्यवस्था से देश कैसे चल पाएगा अब यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड की भारत के प्रधानमंत्री बात कर रहे तो क्या यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड के नाम पे आप प्लोरलिज्म डायवर्सिटी को छीन लेंगे क्या आप वो करना चाह रहे यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड की जब बात प्रधानमंत्री कर रहे हैं वो यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड की नई बात कर रहे वो हिंदू सिविल कोड की बात कर रहे पूरे जो इस्लामिक रेफरेंसेस है प्रैक्टिसेस के उसको वो इलीगल ट्रीट करेंगे और पूरे हिंदू प्रैक्टिसेस को प्रधानमंत्री अंडर अंडर द लॉ प्रोटेक्ट कर लेंगे अहेड ऑफ द अमरनाथ यात्रा इन इंडिया जम्मू एंड कश्मीर टेरिटरी सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस ऑन ट्यूसडे न्यूट्रलाइज अ लोकल टेररिस्ट इन कुलगाम डिस्ट्रिक्ट अ स्टेटमेंट सेड वन पुलिस ऑफिशियल ऑल्सो सस्टेन इंजरीज इन द एनकाउंटर विच स्टार्टेड लेट मंडे नाइट This was the second counter-terrorism operation in the region in the past one week. India has long blamed Pakistan helps terrorists to spread unrest in Jammu and Kashmir. During Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Washington, India and the US in a joint statement had called on Islamabad to stop sponsoring terrorism. In response, Pakistan issued a demand to US deputy chief in the country calling the statement unwarranted, one-sided and misleading references. However, the U.S. has reiterated Pakistan needs to take coercive action against terror outfits working from its territory. We have also been consistent on the importance of Pakistan continuing to take steps to permanently disband all terrorist groups, including Lakshar e Taiba, Jaish e Mohammed, and their various front organizations. And we will raise the re the issue regularly with Pakistani Pakistani officials, and will continue to work together to counter mutual terrorist threats, as we discussed during our March 2023 CT dialogue. And heavy rains have wreaked havoc in parts of Pakistan and India over the past two days disrupting normal life and killing nearly a dozen people. A report. The monsoon rains that lashed parts of Pakistan over the past 48 hours wreaked havoc and killed over a dozen people in incidents of lightning strikes and roof collapse. In Lahore city, traffic and pedestrians were seen navigating flooded streets after heavy rain overnight. Pakistan's monsoon season usually begins in the first week of July lasting until mid-September. 
Heavy rain and dust thunderstorms are predicted in upper and central parts of the country from June 25th to 30th with occasional gaps. Meanwhile, in India, the heavy rains brought landslides in the hill state of Himachal Pradesh, leading to huge traffic snarls which held up tourists heading to the mountains. While in Jammu and Kashmir's Anantanag, farmers said the rainfall damaged their crops, leading to losses. The weather office has forecast the situation will continue for the next few days. Clouds are coming Bilaspur, Hamirpur, Kangda, and Mandi. So, this is the way that we will continue to continue for 4-5 days. In the monsoon, there will be no way to go to the monsoon. This year, the formation of severe cyclone Bipajoy in the Arabian Sea has delayed the onset of monsoon in India and has restricted its progress to just a third of the country so far. More than 1,090 Afghan civilians have been killed in bombings and other violence since foreign forces left and the Taliban took over in 2021. The UN mission to Afghanistan has said in a report released on Tuesday. The report underscores the security challenges even after the end of decades of war. The majority of deaths, just over 700, were caused by improvised explosive devices, including suicide bombings in public spaces, such as mosques, education centers and markets. The Islamic State militant group was responsible for the majority of attacks, according to the UNEMA. The Taliban have said they are focused on securing the country and take timely action on uprooting the safe havens of terrorists. The Sri Lankan cabinet on Tuesday approved the decision to enter into an agreement with the World Bank for budgetary support. The global lender will provide 500 million US dollars to the island nation in two tranches, which is one of the biggest external funding received by Colombo since the IMF deal in March this year. Meanwhile, aiming to contain any potential market volatility, the government has declared a five-day bank holiday from June 29 ahead of the announcement of the domestic debt restructuring process. Sri Lanka has set a goal of finalizing debt restructuring talks by September to align with the first review of its IMF program. A week after Chinese envoy to Nepal, Chen Song reiterated that the Pokhara International Airport was built under Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative, the matter echoed in Nepal's parliament on Monday. Lawmakers questioned PM Pushpakamal Dehil's government to clarify the claims by the Chinese envoy. In response, Foreign Minister N.P. South said the BRI projects are still at the stage of execution. Not a single project under the BRI has come into operation in Nepal. The Kathmandu Post quoted him as saying, the Himalayan nation had signed BRI agreement in 2017, but none of the proposed projects could take off, reports suggest. India, the biggest economic and trade partner of Nepal, also sees the agreement as China's effort to exert influence in the Himalayan nation. Customers are flocking livestock markets across India in large numbers to buy sacrificial goats ahead of the Eid al-Adha. The one of Islam's two main festivals, Eid al-Adha, marks the climax of the annual Hajj pilgrimage, when Muslims slaughter animals to commemorate the willingness of Ibrahim to sacrifice his son on God's command. Customers in Indore city said the rates of the goats were mostly high this year, starting from 20,000 rupees, with better breeds above 40,000 rupees. The festival will be celebrated in India on June 29th. और तो अच्छा है सब जैसा हसबे ऐसी है जिसको जितने का पुरिया हैगा ले रिया हैगा 800 900 रुपए किलो तक की खरीदी चल रही है कि और ये सब है लोगे अगले साल से इस साल के अंदर 40 परसेंट का 30 परसेंट का फर्क आ गया है उसकी वजह है महंगाई इस बार अमाउंट थोड़ा सा तेज है यूजुअल मतलब देखा जाए तो 20,000 के नीचे तो बकरा है ही नहीं और जो अच्छी नस्ल के या अच्छे बकरा आप देख रहे हैं तो वो 40,000 45,000 रुपए के रेट के जा रहे हैंगे। That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India, breaking news and views from India.